So I thought I would talk to you for a minute while I uh, rip out <laughs> this crochet bag that I was working on and it got all wonky and sideways on me and I have to do it again. Um, the shape got all, the shape got weird. I mean, I if it was going to be a top, it would probably be an okay top, but it wasn't really working out as a bag. But um, while I rip this out, <laughs> I have been working on uh, making some additions to one of my knitting patterns, um, the in, the in the Pines Cowl, and adding story to it and some journaling props, props, prompts, man. I have the worst time talking most days. Um, and I've been uh, editing things in, you know, Canva to get it to looking all set up and, and being nice and looking cool. And I got to the part where I'm adding in the lined journaling pages because I always like to put a few pages in there just in case somebody wants to print them out or if someone is using a program like good notes that let you um, write digitally onto your PDFs and things, which is what I prefer. But so I like to add a few pages in there so they have them in case they want to use them. So I've got that all in there and I'm trying to decide if I want the story and journaling prompts and the line journaling pages in the beginning at the you know at the front and then um the pattern follows after because that's how i have it set up right now or if i want to move the lined journaling pages uh to after the pattern which i'm just not sure it seems like uh the lined pages and the journaling prompts and everything should be together but at the same time maybe nobody's going to want to use them and then you have this space of a few pages before the pattern actually starts which and at the same time does it even actually matter doesn't matter I mean it may matter if you are, if you decide to print out the whole thing and you don't need those pages, you would have to, you know, take the time to set up your printing. So you're just printing out the pages that you actually want to use. But if you're doing it digitally and using a program like GoodNotes, does it even matter? I don't, I don't know that it does. Um, so what are your thoughts on that? Um, I had recorded a whole different video for talking about this. And um, I use my iPhone for recording currently because that's the only thing that I have to use at the moment. And um, tried airdropping it to my iPad so I could edit the video and get it loaded up into all the places. All the places. I'm just putting it on YouTube. Um, and then did the airdrop and it said the airdrop was successful and silly, silly me forgot to double check that the airdrop was actually successful and I deleted the whole video off my phone so that's why you're <laughs> now getting this uh, probably really fucking annoying video of me unwinding this bag so I can restart it um, this bag went wrong ways um, 
right when I started stitching it together. That's where it went wrong ways. It should have been stitched and brought up into more like this shape. So like these sides should have come like, I don't know. Uh, it's it's all it's all wrong so I'm gonna take it out um, I'm just pulling it back to where I can unstitch it because like this is the bottom of the bag and um, it just is not working out so I'm just pulling it back um, to where I've stitched it together. And then I might decide if there is a different way I can work the sides where I don't need to um, completely unstitch. Because it would be nice not to have to 100% undo it. But I don't have a pattern for this. I was just uh, making shit up as I went along. And I was trying to make a bag for for Ren Fair, and I put it off, put it off, put it off to the very last minute until, um, like the day before Ren Fair and I needed a bag, so I was just like crocheting like mad and not fully paying attention to the construction of what I was doing. I was just like, I'm putting all these stitches in and it's going to be a bag. <laughs> and then I got so far and realized that, um, to continue going, um, with the shape that I had made was going to take a lot more yarn because it would have ended up being quite a large bag. And, um, that really, wasn't going to work out. So I decided just to set it aside and quit. I'm going to pull back a little bit and see where we get. What is happening right now? Oh, what is okay. I don't okay I don't know why that's there um apparently I had a a little bit of stitching <laughs> just randomly oh my gosh this is ridiculous well I'm gonna keep going on with this um in the comments share your thoughts about um do you think it matters where in the little We'll call it an ebook because it's not just a pattern. It's going to have some some extra bits and bobs in it uh, at the beginning or at the end. I mean, I have started putting things at the beginning because the the reading of the little story and doing the journaling is really something that ought to be done before you start working on the pattern. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think. I'm going to keep unwinding this until I get to get to here and then I will see if I can reshape this. I might take it back even farther and work on Put some more rows onto these so they are bigger. I might even pull it out and put make another one of these so I can have it in the middle and then this will be the side and I'll have one in the middle which I sh probably should have done in the first place and I started out doing that and then I was like oh wait that's not how many I need I've made too many and really I think I probably had started making the correct number and then second guessed myself that happens. Hmm. Well, it's part of being creative and making up your own shit as you go. It's fine. 
There's nothing wrong with totally ripping out, erasing, painting over, whatever, a project.